Okay guys, here at Classic American Car Sales, we bring you this 1967 Mustang Fastback. Uh, we bought this car a few months ago. It was an Arizona import, extremely clean car that we thought we could dress up a little bit. So we installed new wheels, new tires. These are American Racing Torque Thrust polished wheels. We put on disc brakes which are CSRP powered disc brakes. The car was a three speed from the factory, so we put in a four speed top loader. And it was a manual steering car, so we put in Borgensen power steering. We thought these options would appeal to our customers, so we put them in. As mentioned, she's a 67 Fastback um, V8 car. Very, very strong engine in this car. The mechanic felt it's definitely been breathed upon. He said it's a bit of a wild ride. Um, I've driven it and I agree. Just nice to get a mechanic's opinion. Car was went through a full MOT and any parts it needed to bring it up to an excellent standard were done. Our electrical guru has gone through it and checked out everything. At this point all we have to do is add a brake light switch. Everything else has been sorted. As mentioned, the car is a V8. I'll pop the hood right now, or the bonnet, as you like to call it. Extremely rust-free car. It had one rear floor pan, which was a bit thin, um, so we took the decision to replace it. I think it was the right decision, because now the car is bulletproof. Um, alloy rad, as you can see, we put in a brand new battery. Brand new battery clamp as well. Um, we're fighting a losing battle against dust right here, as you can see. I've tried to get most of it off. Cobra finned aluminum valve covers, or aluminium as you like to call them. The Cobra um, air cleaner. There's the Borgensen power steering pump, which is part of the kit. Um, the dual master cylinder and booster is part of the CSRP kit and the braided lines, you can see. Real nice and tidy engine bay. see it's just a dust fest in here so I apologize but a little tough to keep ahead of it we have the car buffed so that made the dust problem even worse the interior is very clean we added rear seat belts Make sure we had four person seat belts in the car. We added a GT Performance steering wheel. You can see some wires under the dash. Those are hanging out to remind us we need a brake light switch. Um, she is a four speed with her shifter. I do not know if the stereo works. But it does have an aftermarket AM FM put in the factory dash. Nice, clean, and straight dash pad. Aluminum handbrake handle. There's those wires with the wires disconnected from the brake light switch. This is a factory black car. Headliner's in great shape. The rear interior panels are really nice. Just a real clean car. Doors open and close lovely. Panel gaps are good. Boot and bonnet open and close as they should. I know I mentioned that on quite a few cars that I videotape, but a lot of times the the uh, opening panels don't like to uh, loose screw. I got to tighten up right there. Um, the you know the boot and the bonnet sometimes don't like to close real well, and doors can be a pain. But these all close nice. Door shuts look good. Those wheels really look nice, but if you prefer black or gray and silver torque thrust, we have those in stock. We also have styled steels, and we also have Magnum 500s on the way very shortly. So we can fit any of those wheels at no additional cost and take these off.
super nice clean car, which we are proud to have available for our customers. Give us a call, Peter, at 07742-604906 or classicamericancarsales.co.uk or pmustang at gmail.com.